having created our scene, we're going to need to want to save that scene and save it somewhere sensible where we're going to be able to easily retrieve it and also somewhere when several months down the line or several weeks down the line we may need to come back to it, we, we may need to know where all the assets for that scene are or if we're working in a group on a project we may need to be saving this scene into a group folder on a server somewhere. So the way that we do that is by creating a project folder. So to do that I'll click on my little menu icon up here I'll come down to manage and I'll say set project folder. So we'll click on that and we have a browse for folder come up here and really what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the administrator, I'm going to click on desktop and I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to just, just going to call that training. Press enter there and you can see we've now got this new folder, new folder called training. If I make sure that's highlighted and I click OK, it doesn't appear to be that anything's happened in particular. However, if I open up a new browser here and I just drag this onto our screen, I may need to resize this here. He says the video game that I play regularly. You can see we've got a folder here called training now. And within that folder, if I open it all up, you'll see we've got a set of subfolders. So I have my scenes folder, which is where I'm going to save my scene to. I've got my assets folder, which has got animations, images, um, all sorts of things in there. I've got my import folder, which if I'm going to be bringing in any uh, files from other programs or from stock, for example, I might want to dump them into this folder, first of all. I've also got a downloads folder. Now, again, these are things that we're going to get a little bit more into as we go through with the program. But really what you're going to find is that if you're using something like, uh, say, Internet Explorer and you're browsing on, say, um, uh, a search engine like Google, you can look at pictures, you can browse textures, you can drag and drop them directly into 3D Studio Max, and they are then downloaded into this downloads folder. This is our auto back folder. This is the important one for uh, if there's a problem with what you're doing, uh, maybe the program crashes or you know, you've know you got your auto back set to every five minutes. This is the folder that it's gonna save into. So you can see here, everything is set in a very, very sensible order. If I now move that just to the side over here and I save my file and I'll bring that folder in as well. Again, I need to just downsize this you'll see that this is in my users admin desktop training scenes so in actual fact there you go training scenes it's in exactly the place that it should be and I will call this maybe start scene there we go and I'll press save and you'll see if I now bring this folder which showed everything in it if I go to my scenes we've now got this start scene now if I check my preferences and I go to customize preferences and I just check and sure, make sure that my files are set to incremental save, which they are. Every time I now press Control S on my keyboard, I'm getting this up here, which is a start scene and then an 01. And if I do that again, we've got an 02. And if I now show you this from my Internet Explorer, I've got start scene, which was the original file, and then start scene 1 and start scene 2. So you can see here the way that this is all going to be building up and the way that this project will be created as we go through this training. Everything that we save is going to be inside of that project folder. The great thing is, if you're working with that locally because you want the speed, when you're done with that, you can just pick up that folder, put it onto a network server, put it onto a, 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 an external data drive or something, and you can kind of archive it off so it's not taking up space on your hard drive. And that's really important when you're working because... You know, these files and what you're doing with these projects, I've had projects that have taken up 100 gig easily without even blinking. And really, you don't want that just lying around on your hard drive. So, yep, your project folders and setting up your project folders is incredibly important.